Nathan spoke about storytelling, so I have an admission to make right at the beginning, which is that my personal story is not inspiring at all. So don't expect anything from me. Uh, the Corby before me and the ladies that are going to speak after me are truly my inspiration when it comes to wanting to be a better person, even as I'm striving to be a better business person. So they are my real heroes and they should be applauded. I frankly don't know what I'm doing here, but they asked me and said there was a good dinner here, so I showed up for it. <laughs> I have now been in this country for about 30 years now. I came here for graduate studies and decided to build a career in this country. But more importantly, I learned how to live, how to learn, and how to grow, all thanks to this country. And I don't have to repeat why our country is so awesome, but there's a few things that I would like to highlight and reiterate. Our country is found founded on adventure, uh, exploring the unexplored. Our country is founded on learning and improving every single day. And our country is also founded on giving. The richest of the rich in this country are also the biggest givers. And having had the good fortune of conducting business in every part of the world, I can safely say there's no other place like here, which is why we are inspired by stories such as those from Corby and the stories that we are going to hear soon. I work for a company called Pulse Secure. We say we are in the business of building secure access solutions. Without boring you with details, simply put, we build solutions that enable people like all of us to be productive no matter where we are and do so securely. That's our mission in life. At some level, I feel like we are already cause-oriented, meaning that if we can help people become productive, we are helping them maybe get a few hours back in a week to spend time with their family and friends and get inspired by people such as Corby and others. We also take a lot of pride in giving back. Uh, we describe our culture as a rich culture. R for respect, I for integrity, C for commitment, and H for humility. So it's a rich culture in that regard. Humility teaches us to learn and grow every single day. Humility also teaches us to know and understand how lucky we are in life and to do something with the luck that we have been bestowed. Because I don't consider myself to be deserving, I truly consider myself to be lucky. And that's the culture that binds all of us. And it's important to bind all of us because we are a for-profit business. We have more than 20,000 customers worldwide. 20 million users use our technology every single day. So taking care of our customer obligations is very, very serious business for us. So when we think about our partners, we need to identify partners who are having similar values as well. And that's where my association with Televerde began back in October of 2015. Corby was talking about some stories about her CEO, Jim Hooker, who is the former CEO of Televerde. Uh, he is truly a reformist in my mind. Uh, he has since become a dear friend of mine, as well as I would consider him one of my true heroes, because he's built this business and, and really helped a lot of women uh, find productive endeavors in life. So that's how I became associated with Televerde. And to be perfectly honest with you, when I first came to Televerde, I was not sure what to expect. I was very skeptical. Like I'm sure a lot of people who are hearing the story today are skeptical about it. We all know that we come from environments and technologies and places. I come from Silicon Valley. And I'm sure we've all seen a lot of people who are entitled. They show up, they want a promotion. 
They show up, they want to race. They show up and they want to feel like they belong. One thing that struck me at Televerde was absolute and total lack of entitlement in the people that I met. We took that and then we started learning more about the people. There was an incredible thirst to learn. And then there was an absolute anxiety to perform for us and to improve. So if you take the combination of lack of entitlement, complete commitment, and a hunger to perform and grow, I can't think of a better partner than working with Televerde to achieve my business goals, which are supporting my 20,000 customers and building a thriving and growing business. So a lot of people think I've done something great by working with Televerde. Quite the opposite. They are doing us favors every single day by helping my business become better and me personally become a better leader and a better person. So I'm thankful to them for what they do. We push them, we challenge them, we support them, we help them, we grow them. Now, speaking of growing them, I keep asking them, what can I do to thank the people at Prairieville? So the ideas I got were, you can take coffee creamer for them. <laughs> uh, I said, that's not very creative. Oh, how about a book and a pen? That wasn't inspiring. Then they said, how about a water bottle? So these were the things that we could take to Prairie Well. So I said, the greatest gift that we can give somebody is the gift of learning, the gift of reading. So that's how the book club that I formed 10 quarters ago came into being. And we read a book a quarter. We send about 30 books every quarter and they read it. I go there every quarter, we talk about business, we talk about customers, we talk about various things, and then we review the book. And the books are all, all subjects. Some are marketing books like Hooked. Some are life books like The Alchemist. And tomorrow, I'm reading the book called Grit with them. But as I was flying here, I thought, this is probably the wrong book for these ladies, because they have all the grit in the world already. So what is this book going to tell them? Even so, I'm going to do that with them for a very simple reason. The questions that they ask me make me think harder. By thinking harder, I'm becoming better every single day. So tell me who is doing who a favor here. It's very obvious, and I hope even after a few glasses of wine, it is very obvious to us that they are doing me a favor. Now, the call to action. I'd like each of us to find ways of committing the gift of learning, empowering, and growing to others and not worry about who they are and what they have done. Quick story on that. One of the ladies in Prairie will ask me a question. When I graduate and I apply to, let's say, Pulse Secure as a prospective candidate, how will you think about me? This goes back to the respect and the self-respect aspect. The best answer I could muster at that moment in time was the following. I said, look, you may have committed a felony for which you're serving time, but I do not consider you to be a felon. You did an act, but that's not who you are. So rise tall, stand up, and take the world. So let's figure out a way of supporting all of these. Please join me in doing it. And I know I can count on each one of you to do what we did, but let's keep growing this um, and give the gift of learning, give the gift of growing and redeeming people in this world. Thank you very much. <laughs>